You guys will never believe how much homework Mr. Sports gave us in our class today. He's so annoying. I don't care about the House of Congress or whatever. Hey, can you be quiet? I'm trying to be an A-plus student unlike someone I know. <laughs> At least I have friends and don't spend all my time doing homework. Can you shut up? Friends don't get you to college, and at least I know how the government works, and I can be a functioning member of society. Are we living in a communist country? You can't tell me what I can or can't do because I have rights. Do you even know what that is? I might have heard it in a TV show once, but at least I'm not as lame as you. Hey! What are you guys talking about? How dumb Gior is. <laughs> hey! It's not my fault I don't care about how our government works. Well, you should. You're gonna be an adult soon. I don't even pay attention in class, so why should I care now? Well, we can teach you everything you need to know. Well, to start, there are many types of governments, and nations all over the world operate under different kinds. Some examples are constitutional monarchies, communism, and aristocracy, all dividing power amongst presidents, prime ministers, and other government officials or political figures differently. The U.S., however, is a constitutional federal republic in which representatives of the citizen body rules the state and sovereignty rests with the people. It's a little different than a democracy in which the citizens participate directly in the government Instead, the people elect leaders to make decisions for them. Wait, but how did these governments get created? How did Americas become a conclusional party party? <laughs> they said a constitutional federal republic, but it wasn't like that always, actually. America became an independent nation after the American Revolution. A formal legal document called the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776 and announced to the world exactly why the 13 colonies wanted to separate from Great Britain. It basically listed out all the reasons why King George III was a big bad meanie. When Britain signed the peace treaty in 1783, America finally became its own country. But now they had to figure out how the system of government should operate. The first system of government set up by the Continental Congress was the Articles of Confederation. Have you ever heard of it? Um, no. Well, it was just their original government. It was a failure, just like you. <laughs> Anyways, it was very bad. It only lasted 10 years. Why was it so bad? The federal government had limited capabilities. Because at this point, Americans were still afraid of being under a tyrannical government. To fix all these problems, a group of men gathered in Philadelphia in 1787 to write the Constitution. Although there were many problems between them, they managed to work out a document that they thought would be the basis of a stable and effective government system that included three branches with checks and balances between them. Because the new system proposed in the Constitution was centered around federalism, the idea that the federal government should have more authority in national and state governments, something that a lot of Americans were afraid of, people weren't really open to this idea. So to convince people that the system wasn't actually all that bad, they wrote documents called the Federalist Papers to convince the delegates to ratify the Constitution, which ended up working. Did you know the government is made up of three branches that function together to make it what it is today? Yeah, I think so. There's the legislative, judicial, and executive. Congratulations, you got all the branches. You got the Congress, which is made up of the Senate and the House of Representatives. They're in charge of decision-making, aka making laws that all make up the legislative branch. They can remove the president if necessary and reject or accept candidates. The judicial branch is the Supreme Court and other federal courts that work on a certain number of cases that um, question our country's constitution. So basically evaluating laws and determining if they're constitutional or not. So if deemed unconstitutional, it must be passed by both the president and the Senate. Then there's the executive branch. This branch enforces or carries out laws controlled by the president, vice president, and the cabinet. The president has the role of being able to veto a bill and make executive orders in need of emergencies. Wow. 
The government sounds perfect and balanced. It must feel like a party every day for everybody. Mm, not quite. For white men, probably. The overall civil rights movement was long lasting, but undying. Um, in English? It took a while for the goals of the civil rights movement to progress, but ultimately it helped create the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Since that's probably too much for you to comprehend, they basically just outlaw discrimination and the prevention of African Americans' voting rights. Don't misinterpret that either. Just because they had the right to vote does not mean that everything was balanced. Even today, there are lots of unjust actions that may just completely ignore history's changes. Oh yeah, I do remember hearing about that in my class. There are also the First Amendment rights, which state the freedoms of the people. Welcome back to my vlog. Today, I want to talk about and you can't say that that's one of the few government regulations on media especially if you're going to post that dog <sighs> fine hey this is kind of off topic but are you guys voting for bo gactus for president um who is that i've never heard of that person it's probably because he's never shown in the media there's absolutely no coverage of him so I basically don't know anyone in the whole country who's voting for him. Oh, so is this like another example of government regulation on the media? Kinda, but it mostly represents how the media affects our elections. You know what? I actually learned a bit from you. That's a shocker. <laughs> hey! Today, I think I learned a very valuable lesson, and I think I want to share it with you, too. Uh, you know, I learned a lot about the government today, and I think I might just pass my government exam. We can only hope. <laughs> Anyways, good luck, America.